Right, so I found a bag, a bag of many bands. So there's a whole load of there, a whole load of rubber bands, drive belts of different dimensions. So the best thing to do is take this one off first. Don't you take it off without stretching it. And seeing, actually it doesn't look too bad this thing, but yeah, the trouble is you never quite know. Let's just move this around a little bit, put all that stuff in there. So that's the current band. So let's find one that's a similar size. So that looks that looks better. You see it's not quite as, that could, the, the new one goes inside the old one. <laughs> so it's not quite as stretched. So we'll keep that to one side, put these to one side. I'll move this one back in and let's thread them up. So it's got to go, well, hang on, let me just get rid of all, there's a lot more fluff, hang on a sec, there's a lot more fluff in there. Now I've exposed that one. Right, okay, so on that one, Around the capstan, and then in there. Oh, that's twisted. Hang on, you've got to be careful. You're not twisting it up. There you go. So that feels okay. Not bad. It's a bit more mechanical resistance, but I think it's going to be okay. So the only way they really know is to obviously test the thing. So let's put that plate back in. So we know it's that way round because it's got this, this discoloration. And I think, which way round is it? It's like that there. Okay. I know that's very close to the camera, but hey, uh, where is the other? There it is. Other screw it goes in there like that. Okay, good. So now it's a case of testing. Now. One of the things to bear in mind is that when you put this stuff back together again, there are usually these micro switches. Another one covered in absolute all sorts of gunk. Oh, and I forgot the uh, the grounding strap. Let's get rid of that. Oh, there's a whole load of crap in there. Hang on a sec. Wow, that's that's horrible. Let me see if I can get that out. There's a huge fur ball trapped in the middle of there. Is that going to interfere with it? No, probably not. Okay, so I've made that mistake there. So I'm going to have to take this one off, uh, out because that's where the grounding strap goes. And uh, what we're trying to do is to fix this thing and for the quality to be good, good enough to, to load off tape. So, you know, <laughs> it might work, it might not, but we don't want to take a chance. We need to give it the best chance possible. Okay, that's better. Right, so, yeah, as I was saying, there's a control switch there that gets pushed by this rod. And there's probably something in there, probably by that piece of metal there. So when we unite these, we have to be very careful that we are lining it up properly. I'm going to move it all around this way. So I think that's okay. There were some standoffs, standoffs there and there and there. So what I'm going to do is put that put this screw back in here so that it's 
the geometry doesn't move around too much. That's important. Okay, so I've got to find the put the power cable back in. Which one? That's all. Yeah, that's, that's going to be okay. Put the power cable back in. It's a bit tricky because I mean you can do this, run the motor and stuff. And sometimes you have to with it all exposed, but it's tricky. Um, it's not always a good idea. And all, of course, the only way we're going to know whether this is any good is by actually running the tape. So we have to put it back together to a degree, well enough to actually do some testing. Right, so make sure that we're not blasting again. Okay, I'm not sure that's made any difference. That's a shame. Well, it was a good thing anyway, so that, that belt's going to last a long time now anyway, so that's a good thing. I suggest what we do is doing this by ear is next to impossible. So what we really need to do is to run the test again using the oscilloscope and uh, got, the, got, the, got the cable, the test cable, so we put that in, you know that one, in here and then that goes there, that goes there, okay, I'll meet you back on the bench. Okay, so we're back again. <laughs> And it looks completely different again. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the signal is is quite different. Uh, it's not as it's actually not as sharp. It's a bit squidgy. Um, I'm quite sure what's going on. If I just increase the uh, amplitude a bit, so we can get it to about two volts peak to peak. But I'm not sure how good it is. It does seem to be the right frequency. Uh, again, it's not the edge. The edge triggering is very difficult, but if we see that's that's roughly on the cycle, that's roughly on the cycle. It's about the right frequency, and that wasn't doing that before. Although, funnily enough, the waveform actually looked more similar before. So I don't know. I think the best thing to do now is just to try it in the machine. Obviously, these the tapes I'm using are very old. So, uh, and this isn't a representation of the signal coming out of, in this case, the MSX. So I think the best thing to do is to actually go and test it for real and write that little test program and uh, yeah, and we'll see whether that's fixed it. It's certainly nice to, to have cleaned it up and to have replaced the drive belt because that was very loose uh, and that's that you're never going to get anything right. Well, here's, a, here's another test of the tape deck. The issue I had before when I was testing it was that the tape deck itself wasn't actually screwed together properly so everything was a bit out of alignment. So I've tested it and it actually works, which is good. Um, so let me just show you that. I'm just gonna forward that on a little bit uh, and then we'll put the remote in there. Okay, and then we're gonna write a quick program. Okay, we'll run that. Great. Do a save. We're going to call it retro. Uh, and that, that will start the tape automatically. The leader goes out, the header goes out on the tape. And then that's now finished. The tape has stopped because it's got a remote on there. I'm going to then rewind it, but that's obviously not doing anything because it's disabled on there. So we've got a program in memory at the moment. I'm going to get rid of that prove that's not there, clear the screen and just do a, a load straight off there. That, that, is, that is now active. Has found that program and has loaded it. 
cool. So that's about half volume, and there we go. That's a program loaded in. So a lot of fiddling about with volume. So now it's set, I'm gonna leave it alone and not mess about with it. Cool.